Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel guys. I am here with Baby Blessing and Baby Blessing is the Levi Scope by Levi Scope by Bonnie Brown. He was also painted and rooted by Patricia Reborn Babies and he was a gift to me, believe it or not, four years ago. Um, I don't know, um, let me see, see if I can see what day he came to me. He came to me in July of 2017. So he is four years old <laughs> and he's still in the same condition as he was the first day I got him. Um, if you guys are not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. Don't forget to join the chatterbox if you want to be a part of exclusive videos and live streams. It is $1.99 to join. You do have to be at least 18 years old. You may see a join now button next to your subscribe button. If not, there's a link in the description bar. And we call that the chatterbox. It's a paid channel membership. It's to support the channel and all the great things. Anyway, um, so yeah, so back to this baby. So you guys don't see him as often as some of my babies, you don't. It doesn't mean that I love them any less or I love them any more. It's just that some babies, I just, I don't know, I just kind of keep them to myself or whatever. But I was so in awe with his painting and stuff. I'd never seen anyone do the hand transi transition so beautifully and the veining on him is absolutely amazing. He's been wearing this same outfit for probably, I don't know, maybe all year. Who knows? Um, so I put him on stuff. Um, so the Levi sculpt, while Bonnie Brown was sculpting this sculpt, I was like so in love with the face. I couldn't wait for this baby. And then eventually she showed the, um, the limbs and I was not in love with the limbs. Sadly to say, I was not. Um, I don't like very curled up babies, but um, I do love that how newborny he looks. And I do, so then I grew to love the sculpt as a whole, but I just prefer, it's not a baby that I like to hold more so as pose. Look at the veining and everything on him. He is so perfectly newborn and his modeling is beautiful. When um, people come to my house and they see him, they're like, they're like, oh my gosh, he looks so real. So he still turn heads to this day. Um, so he don't ever, ever, ever think that he is not a very special baby to me. Not just because <laughs> it was so funny. She was showing me work in progress pictures of him while she was painting him. I was like, oh my gosh, he's so cute. This, that, and the other, whatever. And I don't know why, but for some reason, somewhere in that communication, I missed her telling me that she was making him for me. I just, I don't know. I, did, I didn't hear that part or something. So one day she said, he's almost ready to go come, come to you or whatever or something. I'm like, huh? And I'm like, you mean you sending him to me? And she was like, yeah, I'm making this baby for you. And I was like, so blown away like I was like so I felt so stupid that the whole time I didn't know that he was coming to me but then when he came oh my gosh look at his feet the way she painted this baby is amazing I love her modeling I love her veining he is just he's gorgeous so he is very special to me he's a, a, a forever baby I've never did anything to him. I've never changed anything on him. His waiting, everything is still the same. Um, I just, I just love him. Um, me and Miss Patricia met, and I always say Miss Patricia. Um, I don't know why some people I put Miss in front of their name. I don't know, but um, we met at the doll show, and she's so pretty <laughs> and so soft spoken and everything. She's so opposite of me. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, like, loud, but I can be. Um, I'm 
I like to have fun and I'll, I'll get a little goofy basically but I'm not like the loud rambunctious type but I met her at doll show and I've been telling her how great her work was and she didn't believe me <laughs> but I think when she got to her first doll show she realized that her work was just as beautiful as other people have, if not more beautiful um but I love that I love I love um when we can encourage each other and stuff um I want his little skin to show so I'm not going to cover him up I was thinking about putting him on this one but I think I'm gonna put him on this one and put him I don't really want to cover his hands up but I think I am just for the outfit purposes I'm gonna put him on hand mitts see how that looks and then um I'm gonna leave his feet out though I just love the 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 lighter hands and feet on babies when they're done right um because um a lot of babies have that that the lighter hands and um feet um it's definitely more obvious in the uh black babies and uh the darker skin tone biracial babies it's is definitely more obvious um i i won't go on the record to say i believe it's they it's still there are newborn babies that are um caucasian or other um you know other babies have the same lightness in the the their hands or they be more pink or more purpley or something like that um correct me if i'm wrong but i think they still have it it just shows more i think in our babies it's just like we go out in the sun as black people and we actually do get sunburn but people don't realize that because they think because we're of darker skin tone we don't but it's just that you don't see it so um and we bruise and stuff too um so it's it's a it's a lot of differences and a lot of people say I don't see color I don't see this I don't see that I see it I'm not gonna say that um I just think it's a beautiful thing that how we are so much alike but so different as well um so I just love all babies all different skin tones and everything it's just amazing this 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 hobby really does a lot to you um it can affect you in so many positive ways if you you know, if you're just relaxed and enjoying it and, and being open-minded, I've just learned so much stuff that I didn't really pay attention to prior to being in this hobby, especially with um, details of, you know, coloring and, and um, hair lines and hair structure and jaw structures and how different, you know, babies are different in all those ways. I never would have paid attention to that kind of stuff because, you know, people are people. Um, but when you get into the hobby and you're trying to learn the, the painting and the sculpting and all that and stuff and understand that part of it, it becomes a little bit more deeper for you. And so you pay attention to a lot more. And so I don't know if you guys do this, but when I go in like Walmart or, you know, wherever, any stores, I always say Walmart because Walmart is like the biggest store that mostly everybody go into. Some people hate it. But when you go into places like that, um, I now it's like I look at people, babies, like they're like like art projects. I'm like, oh, look at look at the skin on this one. And I love to see when it with the mom and the dad. I'd be like, oh, so mom and dad is like complexion. But a baby is like a redhead or, okay, so this one, how, wait, 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 how does baby end up with blue eyes, you know, or, or, or okay, so mom and dad got brown eyes, baby got green eyes, or mom and dad got blue eyes, but this baby just have brown eyes, you know, like, I just be looking at stuff and looking at the babies and sometimes, like in photos now, I don't know if you guys do this too, like on social media, I'm always looking like, now, is that a real baby? Like, like, I always think it's a doll first, and then it's like, okay. Um, so, yeah, so it's it's pretty cool, but I absolutely love him. Um, it's amazing that he's been with me for four years. 
and I actually pulled Paris and put her in the, the swing so I'm trying to change the babies around and I know I started putting some of the bigger babies in the other room um, but looks like two of them is actually in here the only one that's not in here is Joey and Jersey which I'll probably pull them back in here since I've gotten I don't want to say got rid of that sounds so bad but since I've sold um several of my babies I have a little bit more space so now I can probably pull them back in for a little bit um so I'll bring them in later but I'm gonna try to pull all the babies in and just kind of so I could do a scan of the room for you guys um Lulu is getting closer so I'm excited about that um she I have her dress she's sitting in the middle of the, the room and she's posed and she doesn't have a head of course um but I did get zip ties to put her chest plate on so that is on but her arms and stuff not really attached but anyway um I just wanted to share a uh, baby blessing because I haven't shared my babies some of my babies in a long time you know like Lily Grace Aspen baby blessing um Paris Mia Moore Winter even Phoenix, they don't really get a lot of camera time. Um, Piper, I, I guess, who am I showing? It's like I'm showing the same babies over and over again. Um, but I do have a pretty um, diverse collection. Um, I did, I will, well, anyway, I, I was trying to get another one in here, but uh, that didn't work out. So, anyway, um, yeah, so that's that um i i also want to say before i go that this is just a prime example of why it doesn't matter if you show your babies every day or if you dress your babies every day it doesn't change the way you love them and they are still can still be very special to you and very important to you and it doesn't make you not be a collector or you know not be as involved or with them um I like to walk by and look at my babies so I like them to be dressed and in you know in position like I will probably leave him right there um and when I walk in I just look over at him and I may brush his hair a little bit or something but I usually just like to look at them um I keep saying um because I'm thinking while I'm talking because I know it's something that I want to say but I can't think of it right now. And I'm looking at the time and I'm like, I'm running out of time. I don't want this video to be super long. Anyway, <laughs> so that is that. Uh, do you guys have babies that you don't ever like post pictures of and just but you absolutely love and you interact with them but not on camera? See, I think it's it's the standards change when you're a YouTuber versus when you're just you know, someone that's like on Facebook or just in the community. I think like no one says, oh, so-and-so doesn't love her baby as much or she don't like that baby as much because she rarely shows it unless they're like on YouTube or do Instagram posts all the time and stuff like that because I don't know, like they expect you to like, you got to keep having them on the camera. So I don't know, that's just my thoughts love him thank you again to patricia um for blessing me with him that's why his name is baby blessing he will forever be in my heart forever be here it was the most kind gesture um i think i have been going through a lot i almost want to think that was during the time i was going through a lot of stuff but anyway thank you ah.